Welcome back guys to another beer review. Uh, I'm sweating me nicky nacky news off. It's humid as hell where I am. As you can see in the background, it's lovely and sunny. I'm all feeling horrible and that. So I thought I'd do a cheeky beer review while the missus has gone out, get a sneaky one in there. And today's one is one of Lidl's beers from their craft range. And it's from By The Horns Brewing Company. And it's a can of their West End Pills, Pills and Lager in a 330ml can coming in at 4% ABV, uh, 125 so cheap as chips, hopefully it'll be alright and be worth the money because nobody likes to waste money do they so uh, yeah so nice looking can wrap, I've got to admit I do like that, did attract my attention, slightly different so uh, I'll shut up, we'll get it cracked open and see what we get. Gonna be having a barbecue today. Got uh, both my PDs set up in the garden now, so <laughs> good old typical British kind of thing. There we go in the glass. Well, straw in colour. Good levels of carbonation. Probably a little bit more lively, maybe than most pilsners are. But if I'm wrong, please tell me. Uh, but looks good. Well, a finger of a finger of white head looks quite creamy to be fair uh, looks all right so let's get in on the nose lemon yeah definitely lemon in there there is a there is a pepperiness uh, it's not real real spicy pepper in there well, it's coming up a bit more though now Malty, yeah, if I'm totally honest, that smells like a decent Pilsner at the moment, so uh, let's dive in, get a try. Cheers, guys. In all fairness, £1.25 a can. It is only 4%, you know, normally your Pilsner's your you're knocking about the 5% mark. That and a bad. That isn't bad at all. If it lacks anything, it lacks a bit more, a bit more pepperiness, a bit more spiciness in there. Yeah, that's not bad. Don't get me wrong. It's certainly not the greatest Pilsner I've had. Uh, but for what you've paid for it, it's okay. Uh, probably probably not as good as the Pearl and Backer. Although I haven't reviewed that. Uh, I've had it a while ago since I've had it. The carbonation's obviously died down in there. There is slow levels of it now. And you do get a bit in your mouth. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay, to be fair. Uh, yeah, the initial taste and everything was quite a surprise. Now my palate sort of adjusted and it's calmed down. That's okay. Uh, I wouldn't say it's as crisp as it could be. Uh... But it's all right. Like I said, it's one pound twenty-five a can in Lidl's. If you can get hold of it, I would certainly recommend trying it because I'd be interested on uh, anyone else's views on it. Uh, I've not known, well, I've not searched to see if anyone else has done reviews of it, but I've certainly not seen any. I think that's okay. I'm not going to build it up like it's the best German pills in the going, but that and a bad. So uh, if you fancy trying it and you can get hold of it in Lidl's. Pick one up, let me know what you think. Uh, if you've had it, uh, please feel free to give me your views on it. Uh, yeah, and that's it. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, like my video if you want to. Like I say, interact with me through the comments. Like my uh, channel, subscribe to it. <coughs> Excuse me. Whatever you're drinking, uh, enjoy it. Uh, no doubt a few of you will be having a few beers today. 
so uh, I'm sure you'll be enjoying a few. Uh, I'm going to finish off this and then get back outside to uh, get the garden ready, get the bar ready. Just kind of dot around really. So uh, anyway, stop waffling, Baz. See you all again on another beer review soon, guys. Have a good day, Taff.